is a magnet. This is a magnet. This is a magnet. This is a shoe. What's the difference? To know that, you have to know your magnets. This is a donut. It does not stick to this magnet. This is a spoon. It sticks to this magnet. These paper clips stick to this magnet. This shoe does not. So what has attracted the magnets? Only things that are ferromagnetic. Here's the difference. Horseshoe, horseshoe magnet. This one is a magnet. This one is not. But the horseshoe sticks to the horseshoe magnet because this one's a magnet and this one is ferromagnetic. Only things that are ferromagnetic are attracted to magnets. Things that are not attracted to magnets, they're not ferromagnetic. Plastic, banana, mitten, sandwich, magazine. No, but how do you know? Do you go around the world sticking a magnet to every single thing one at a time? Hey, Ma, I need you to come over. I need to see if you're ferromagnetic. No, ferromagnetic. No, you don't need to do that. First of all, only metals are ferromagnetic. So that eliminates all your clothing, your luncheon meats, your magazines, what have you. Everything that's not metal, you don't need to worry about. You, never mind, Ma, it doesn't matter. But this clock is metal. It doesn't stick. Well, not all metals are ferromagnetic. Mainly just the ones with iron, nickel, or cobalt. And there you have it. Now you know your magnets. I hit the phone on the magnet there. Okay, uh, can you hear me, Ma? Hang up the phone. Hang up. Hang up the phone, Ma. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs>